This is section 5.2, part C, Venn diagrams and probability. A Venn diagram uses overlapping circles or other shapes to illustrate the logical relationships between two or more sets of items. Often, they serve to graphically organize things, highlighting how the items are similar and different. Venn diagrams can be used to, so, to show complements and mutually exclusive events. Venn diagrams can show the events of A and B, which is also called the intersection of A and B. The corresponding notation is A and B with that little arc showing the symbol and. So in this section, the part that is highlighted green is the intersection of A and B. This would be something that happens in event A and also happens in event B. Venn diagrams can show the events A or B, which is also called the union of A and B. The corresponding notation is A, looks like a U between them for union, and then B. So this means A or B. This would include anything in just A, in just B, or where the two intersect, as shown in the highlighted portion. In an apartment complex, 40% of the residents read the USA Today. Only 25% read the New York Times. 5% of the residents read both papers. Suppose we select a resident of the apartment complex at random and record which of the two papers the person reads. We need to make a two-way table that displays the same sample space of this chance process. So if we make a table, we have people who read the New York Times. They can either yes, read it, no, read it, or total. We also have people who read the USA Today. And again, yes, they can read it, no, they don't read it, or total. So we do know in total, 40% of the people read the USA Today which means 60% 60 60 of the people do not, which gives us our percent of 100%. Of the people that read the New York Times, we know that 25% of the residents do read the New York Times, which means 75% do not, again, giving us our total of 100%. And we were told that 5% of the population reads both. So if 40% read the USA Today, and 5% of them do also read New York Times. That leaves us 35% that do not read the New York Times. And we can do subtraction to fill in the other pieces as well. We need to construct a Venn diagram to represent the outcomes of this chance process. So if we come back up here to our table and we were to create a Venn diagram, let's get a pencil instead. We know that 5% read both. We have the New York Times and we have USA Today. Now, of the people that do read the New York Times but do not read USA Today, we are left with 20%. And of the people that do read USA Today but do not read New York Times, we're left with 35%. Now, inside this box, but not in either of the circles, we also need to represent the people that did not read either the New York Times or the USA Today, which would be 40% of the population. Find the probability that a person reads at least one of the two newspapers. Now this means they could read just one or both of them. So one way to do this is just to look at your Venn diagram and we can add all the categories together where they at least read one of the papers. So we can do 35 plus 5 plus 20, which would give us 60% of the population. The other way to do this is to do the probability of A 
4b, which is the probability of event A, plus the probability of event B, minus the probability that it is in both categories. So the probability that they read USA Today is 40%. The probability they read the US, uh, read the New York Times is 25%. And the probability that they read both is 5%. And if we do that, you will still get 60% of the people read at least one of the newspapers. Find the probability that a person does not read either newspaper. Now remember, this is the probability that they don't read A or B. So to do this, we can do the 1 minus the probability of A or B. We just found the probability that they read either or both to be 60%. So that means 40% of the people do not read either one. You could also have found this on your Venn diagram by what's left over on the outside or from your table for the part where it is no in both categories.